G'day my friends, Marty Ware here from happyhouseandgarden.com and youtube.com slash Marty's Garden. Thanks for coming today to check out this video all about underground self-watering containers. Yes, I've been on the Happy House and Garden website and doing some research and come across something that I thought was really, really cool. And I had seen this before and I hadn't really shared it with you but because I thought maybe you'd all have seen it. But at the end of the day, you know, um, not everyone's seen it, not everyone knows how to do it properly. So I'm just going to grab one of these bottles here. Now, when you're doing your underground watering system, you can use basically any plastic container. Remember, it will break down over time, and you know, but it will last pretty much for years. And it depends on the size of your plant and how much water you want to get down to it by the size of your bottle. Now, obviously, this is quite a big bottle and I would use something like this for a tomato plant that would get down a lot of water to the root system. Now in the photo you'll see there's only one bottle, one bottle on one side but I have a bottle on each side of the plant so the water is centrifugally spread around and it's not wetter on one side than the other and it would create more of a balanced ecosystem down below for the microbes etc. Now how do we drill the holes in this because most people think oh we just poke the holes with the scissors which you could do the other way is you can put it in the freezer and make it really hard and then drill some holes in it as well. It'll be a lot more cleaner and not to crack so much and it would be much more sufficient. Now, if you've got a smaller plant or you want to put it just in the container garden, you might want to use a little Coke bottle instead of this big one like this. And, you know, just same thing. Put it in the freezer, come back, drill some holes in it and voila, you've got your own self-watering container system. Now, if you don't want to have the water too high up in the soil profile, then just drill around the bottom half down here, in the bottom and around the sides, and just make sure you put lots and lots of holes in there. And you can fill this up with, you know, all the different types of liquid fertilizers. Uh, you know, you can really get that water down deep into the soil profile, which is really, really important. And you'll find that when you're doing this, it's not like watering from above where it's got to soak down in. It's going to get right down in there, so you're not going to have to do this as much. And so, what I recommend you do and use these, because like we should have been planting them out in our, in our community garden, now uh, the other ladies that were doing it already, but um, they'd already planted before I got down there to show them how to do it. But anyway, yeah. In the drought times, such as in Australia and different places, and look, we need to start saving water anyway, so we can be more efficient with water. Let's take care of what we have. All right, I'm Marty Ware from youtube.com slash Marty's Garden and happyhouseandgarden.com. This is where this image come from. You can find more great content just like this, and you can go over and join yourself and participate and make your own borders and lists too. All right. Don't forget to subscribe before you go so you see more just like this. I'm going to be creating a news gardening channel which I'm thinking about putting together. So let me know if you'd like to see that down below in the comments. And I'll see you at the next video soon. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye for now and happy gardening.